Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Alhamdulillah, 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 bimadika min nazarikum siriya Rasul Kareem, Habibul Azeem. Fa'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Atiullah, Atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum. And I was a reminder for myself and Abdul Kalaji, Sadaifu, Miskeen, Azhar, Jahan. And but for the grace of Allah they're still in existence. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ash al mursaleen. Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa bin madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidiya Rasul al-Kareem. Madad ya Sayyidiya Sultan al-Awliya ma shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Dabastani, Sayyidina Shaykh Muhammad Daz Ma'ad al-Hakani, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Abd al-Khaliq al-Khujdawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina alayhi salam. Thumma Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam wa Sayyidat al-Fatima al-Tiz alayhi salam. Fi barakati shahadati Imam Zayn al-Abideen alayhi salam wa Sayyidu wa Sadatina wa Siddiqeen al-Fatiha. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah that Allah granted for us this holy month of Muharram and gave us a life in which to see the blessed night and blessed holy occasions. And Imam al Sajjad, Imam Zain al Abideen and salam was the surviving light of Ahlul Bayt of Karbala. That Although shaitan wanted to extinguish the light and Ayatul Kareem in which Allah reminds people, although you wanted to extinguish the light, you can never extinguish the light. Means they wanted to extinguish the light of Ahlul Bayt and the descendants of Sayyidina Muhammad That was shaitan's intention and all were martyred except for Imam Zayn al Abideen as salam who was a child at that time and very ill and Allah made them to pass over like Sayyidina Musa salam, not to recognize and to pass over trying to harm Imam Zayn al Abideen and he was the lone survivor and carried the light and the secret of the Imams and the 12 Imams of this nation. And that uh, their lineage coming from the heart of Imam al Husayn. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Imam Zain al Abideen. And from Imam al Hassan, Imam Hussain, Imam Zain al Abideen, Muhammad Baqir, Imam Jafar al Sadiq in the tariqah, then keep going all the way to the light and the lineage of Imam al Mahdi. Salam. And alhamdulillah that Allah granted us such a blessed nation with holy companions and the holy family of Sayyidina Muhammad. This is a immense blessing and gift of guidance that Allah grants to the nation when the piety of its foundation is a source of blessing and a source that dresses the nation. Imam Sajjad was named because of the immensity of the amount of time he spent in sujood. And that his sajadiyya and the psalms of Sayyidina Imam Zayn al Abideen, like the psalms of Dawood, Sayyidina Dawood, the Prophet Dawood, 
that the psalms and recitations and du'as of Imam Zain al Abideen as salam are historic, immense, immensely powerful, immensely beautiful and an immense gift for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad And on this holy night we ask ourselves that, what is salah? That we talk of so many realities and Muharram is the month in which to lay the foundation of what we're going to do for the 12 months. And a reminder always for myself is that everything is based on one step. Our life is to take our life is to take one step and Allah comes to us 99 steps. We come walking to Allah and Allah comes running to our reality. The importance of that is that, what is the salah? What is prayer? And why is it important? That for Imam Zain al Abideen and become the the importance and the kunya, the name in which to name him salam, was sajadiyat that the one whom is always in sujood. And it asks for us to understand that, what is the salah and why is prayer important? And the character that we said that the theme is everything based on one step. That take one step to Allah so that the 99 steps of Allah's embrace can flow to us and open for us whatever is it that we're asking. And the salah is a foundation of belief, the one whom leaves their salah leaves their belief. And important within the nafs and the ego of people that they tell themselves in this act of love that I don't need to pray like that. I have a relationship with Allah And many people may try to just spend time meditating, contemplating but not doing the actual salah. And the danger, the danger of, of all of this is that one Allah doesn't need our salah. Nothing that we are doing is making Allah powerful, Allah is not in need of anything from His creation and from His servant. So it means that this salah and these acts of worship are for myself. So it's not about giving something to the Divine but it's about my state of self-awareness. That I pray to express my love and that I pray to tame my wild character. I pray to humble myself, my nafs in the presence of my Lord as a constant reminder of my path that no matter what Allah wants to give to the servant or not give to the servant, my path is based on humility. That I'm not empowering the heavens but I'm empowering myself when I pray. As much as I can bring the regulator down and the bad character down, as much as I'm opening the reality of my power, my soul and the qudra and Divine Grace that Allah has dressed upon my soul. So it's my duty on this path and on this way of humility is to make my salah and make my prayer with intention that I'm nothing Ya Rabbi. And that even my act of prayer has to be given by permission of Allah We said before that when we say, Hayyan as-salah, Hayyan al-falah that come to prayer and come to success, every time the mu'azzin calls the prayer, the believers in the masjid must, repi- must repeat, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi alayhi wa deen. And you must repeat as he's reciting the azan because it's a reminder of the whole act of prayer that there is no power and there is no help except through Allah And the immensity of that we're going to go to pray 
And Prophet is teaching us, recite that. So that when you contemplate even your prayer is not from you. Allah has to send help and power to lift you from a, the abode of punishment because the one whom don't pray end up in difficulties. It's Allah's blessing, the Divine's blessings that He sent as a mercy to this creation Sayyidina Muhammad to teach for us that Allah, Allah has to send me a help, has to send me a power. As a result of that help and power I find myself able to answer the call to prayer and to bring myself up into a state in which to pray and alhamdulillah to actually pray and complete the prayer. All of that is by Divine Grace and Majesty, not by my cleverness, not by my, my acumen but that Allah has to send hawla and quwwa, help and power. If Allah doesn't send to His servant help and power they fall under the oppression of their nafs and shaitan. And at that time they begin to say, ah I don't need to pray, I have a special relationship, I express my love with God in my heart. But that's not the expression, that's not the expression of love. Love with Allah is the one whom struggles against themselves and their bad character. That's what Allah wants to see that you know you have a nafs and you know you have a shaitan. And you're telling me that you love me but you won't bow your head for me. You won't submit to me, you won't show me a respect, you won't show me the state of love in which I ask from you but yet you're always asking me for something. And you're upset if you don't get it the way you want and the time in which you want it. And everybody wants Allah according to their desires. They want a Lord that they can make for themselves, they want their own personal Jesus. Everybody wants their own personal way in which suits them but submission and taslim is that no Allah wants it this way, I owe it to my Creator to submit myself entirely, my body and my soul. So then salah is an expression of love, prayer is an expression of love that my Lord you've given everything and you, you've blessed me with an immense bounty. You granted me a light and a faith within my heart to even be on this path. I owe it to show my immense respect to bow my head, continuously bowing my head for your presence. But izzatika sajidan wa bi qismatika radiyan. By your izza and might my head should always be to the ground. This is what the Imams would recite in their sujood, bi izzatika sajidan. That by immensity of your power all of this creation must be in continuous sujood if they understood your might and your majesty. And by qismatika radiyan and that your qisma, whatever you have written for me, who might not be rida and satisfied with it? I would be an oppressor to myself to come against what Allah has written for me. I cannot get more and I can get no less. And when this, when Allah say that, thank me and I give you more, this was the secret of Ayatul Kareem that the Imams were releasing in the heart of people. That if you want to show Allah thankfulness, thank Him in sujood and ask, Ya Rabbi bi izzatika sajidan, by your might and majesty everything must bow to your power. And then whatever you have written for me Ya Rabbi find me to be a ridha, a satisfied and content servant. If at times I make mistakes and I don't express it that way but in my sujood when I'm closest to you and that I'm in complete humbling and annihilation of myself, I reconvey to you Ya Rabbi that by your izzah and might I'm down. And by whatever you have written for me, find me to be satisfied and, and have thankfulness and becomes the 
key to our successful life. Because all the meditations, all the practices, all of these qudra, <coughs> all of these realities they don't open in an abode of pride. Everything is based on humility and we describe many different talks of the reality of salah. That Allah describes, وَلَكَرْ كَرَامْ لَبَنِي آدَمْ that you are most beloved and honoured of my creation and the reality of you is that I gave you a heart and you're the only creation that with this heart is a doorway to my Divinely Presence and your heart reflects into your head if you understood your system correctly. So then the crown of your reality is your head. As a result bring your head in my presence down. No matter what I gave to you, you can be a king on this earth but in my presence bow down. And awliyaullah come and teach us that in the sujood when we go into prostration you, you take a form of a creature that has bowed itself and brought itself to its lowest point and that your heart is up to its highest point. So that you brought the nafs and everything that playing with you through your head, bring it to the ground and then Allah's house is at its highest point with the qalb al-mu'min baytullah that Allah describes that your heart of the believer is the house of Allah Only in sujood we understood the heart is at its highest point, that the head, the nafs, all of the characteristics of arrogance to be brought down into the presence of Allah and then in sujood the qalb is at its highest point. This is Azimatullah, this is the greatness of Allah that Allah occupy the heart of the believer and to raise the house of Allah is the secret of sujood and that when you're in sujood you're closest to the Divinely Presence in which to convey your du'a to the Divinely Presence and you're in the closest proximity to your reality in sujood. So means the munajjad and du'as that are done in sujood they have an immense power and immense reality. One because it opens the door of humbleness, we said this whole life is about one step. That before you can ask Allah for anything, Allah asks for us, make one step. So when it comes to this act of worship, the greatest of this step of salah is then in sujood. As soon as we make the one step of sujood to bow down and prostrate oneself to God Almighty Allah opens 99 realities towards what we're asking for. We pray that Allah grant us its understanding and the immensities of these lights that when we read Qur'an, actually the Qur'an is reading us. It means this, this abode of humility is that when we think we're doing things it's actually those actions of Allah that are guiding us. Many people want realities of Qur'an and the Holy Qur'an, Qur'an and Majeed, they think that they're reading the Qur'an but in actuality the Qur'an is reading you. It will convey to you what your security clearance is, what your level of cleanliness is what your level of belief is, the Qur'an will begin to read you. When it looks to you as through your eyes touching it, it knows your heart is worthy of its secrets or it's locked. At that time if it becomes locked it becomes Furqan, it becomes a book of teaching you right and wrong. If it finds within your heart the cleanliness the ikhlas and sincerity. Then what Allah described, the Qur'an is looking for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Qur'an wal zabanan arabiyya means that Allah describing an encryption that the Qur'an is looking to your heart 
and wants to see the love of the Arabic messenger named Sayyidina Muhammad When the Qur'an sees that you have the good character and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad it begins to teach you more. That becomes Qur'an. Qur'an doesn't open without the light of Prophet within the heart of the Sahib. That which opens is Furqan. That's why they are very violent angry people. They read but they don't read Qur'an, they read Furqan, only right and wrong, right and wrong. What we call the fire and brimstone preachers that they fire everything is fire and anger when they speak. When the Qur'an looks to the heart of the servant and sees it has a love and ihtiram and love for Sayyidina Muhammad it begins to sing to your heart all of its realities. And when it looks further through the oceans of sincerity that Allah dressed the servant's heart with sincerity, with ikhlas, what we describe became mu'min, became mukhlas, became muhsin, all of those realities Qur'an begin to recite from Ummul Kitab. Means these are darajat, the Qur'an has its secrets and its darajat which it will reveal to the servants. That's why some people wondering, how you speak of things that nobody spoke of or what we never heard from somewhere else? Because Qur'an hasn't taught you yet, it's not our cleverness, we are not reading anything. What we recite and what we read, the Qur'an is reading to us and then teaching to us what it wants to reveal. We pray that Allah open for us the understanding of humility, the understanding of love and ishq and that everything is based on one step. Take your one step towards humility, take one step towards showing ourselves to be humble and to be wanting Allah's rahmah and mercy and love and the dress of love and success upon us and everything of the sunnah is a standard and exemplar of that way. We pray that Allah dress us from this love, from this ishq and from this blessings. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata ma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatih. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Najjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.